Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> Listen to some poetry. I, I personally, I'm an English major. I, I was. Freaking, I love poetry. <laughs> we'll see if it's actually any good. If I think it's good. Uh, it's all very much already. personal taste as well. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Arse rest. <laughs> nice. Are you freaking, you are not. You're not. You're not. You're not Siri. I'm gonna punch a wall if you are. I didn't get a I couldn't see a scar on her face. Her oh, her hair's not white enough. It's blonde. might know more than Geralt would have wished her to know about, you know, his life. Dandelion may have spilled some secrets. <laughs> He's like, I told you you'd like it. A standing ovation, holy crap! Geralt's like, yeah! You! Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh! Yee! I know him! Uh oh. Twas he murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. 
and I was told this was a decent establishment. Aww. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? Who the fuck it is? It permits me <sighs> to introduce... Uh, Probably would have gone very differently. Song. Known also as Kalanetta. If as I hadn't lovely done as that. She is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Hey, eh? Hmm? <laughs> Bart! Not people I confide in! <laughs> There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see uh, you later. Okay, yep, uh-huh. Not here. Come with me. Yep, okay, gotta be sneakier. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. <laughs> and I've not seen him since. Uh, yeah. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? You have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. We saw that this in the dream. Someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Huh? What? Ruben, huh? what's he like? Tall, fat. Dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. Nah. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime. Yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horse and Junior's lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. It should, because we encountered his dudes. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. All right, we've oh, met the school. Cleaver and the Beggar. Did cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. <laughs> Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's <laughs> rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. I don't know. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Oh my Can gosh! Find them? This is just I don't know about blowing Horson, up in my face! Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. Oh, is that why he was asking so about bathhouse ladies? I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. He runs a bathhouse, so he's asking his bathhouse lady friend well, about bathhouse people. I got all to do here. Ah, she just shoved me out of the way! Got Bobby to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care, what else? What else was he asking about? Um, he got money from that from Molly. He got. He was talking to the tailor. He just was talking. What did he talk about exactly? Um. What did? Oh, I can't remember what we said. Ellie Hall said. Um. 
Rosa, she said he was just talking about the lady friend, I think. Oh, I don't know. I uh, can't remember. Yay! Mm. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh. I already read that one. Uh, I think I already have that one too. Well, you know, I could take it and sell it. Ooh. Oh, is this her room? Apologies. Letter to Dandelion. She had a kiss on it. My dearest Dandelion, since you told me you have a plan to rob the city's kings of crime, I can think of nothing else. Several times I have wished to talk to you to drive this mad notion from your head, but you are never at the Rosemary in time when I visit. I hope the lesser evil is true and you are busy preparing for the highest and not avoiding me. I believe, I want to believe that this entire matter is about something more than mere gold and a life, midlife hunger for adventure. But either way, I would much prefer you abandon it. Surely you can find another way to solve your old friend's problem. We both know quite a few folk in Novigrad, many of whom owe us favors. Perhaps it's time to call them in. Think it over before you get in too deep. It was a good try. Oh, hi! Don't mind me, I'm just stealing from you. Go! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, he can. I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Ah. Take care now. Yeah, bye bye. Enjoy your uh, weird standing place. Let me have whatever's in here. Don't mind me. I'm robbing you blind. Guaranteed to tell you every hot street. I'm gonna... Hello? You have a name? Yes? Count Kurt Dysart. Are you here regarding the comp- Ah! What? Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? What do I do? Oh god, which one do I belong to? Do I get to... oh freak I'm gonna look it up really quick. Okay, he's a school of the wolf. Why can't I choose school of the griffin? Is that like a choice that you can make? Can you like switch schools? I'm pretty sure I am the school of the wolf. School of the wolf. Ah, yeah. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Close. Uh, no. Uh, yes. His with name didn't give it a B. Never mind. Uh, uh, to the matter. A noble path. with the glasses of a scholar Not merchant. Long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. That's a bad now sign. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. Again. To explain the seller's urgency. Again. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floor. Have you not about. been in there? Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon. Asking for coin already, but, but you've I'm not a done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Navigrad and he's off his head in minutes. I've been here for ages. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? See, a noble might be able to pay more, but... He could also get irritated much quicker. <laughs> yes. Okay. Agreed. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. Okay, the good. It's not Sarah's house. Recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Why did you buy it, man? 
is the key. And good luck. Okay. The Reaper's come for me. The Reaper? <laughs> or the Reaver? Um, do you have a name, perchance? Nope, just a rich townsman. It's raining outside. Look at that. 10.04 p.m. Fire. Get to the bathhouse. And he's just sitting in there. Siggy Reuven what? is just oh, hanging out in the bathhouse. Oh, maybe I shouldn't go down here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go out this way. I realize that there may it may be no problem whatsoever me walking out the front door. But... Lumpen proletarian? <laughs> I may get into trouble anyway just walking out of doors. But we're going to... Uh, Trying to be, you know, tactful. I can't believe that that's come back. That was the very beginning of the game. That's come back to bite me in the butt. Get Junior. Get get Junior. Oh, crap. This is just a balcony. Oh, no. Can I jump off? Yes, I can jump off. What's this? Open. Open. Oh, key required. Shoot. Shoot, man. Drunk. Y you all right there? Yikes. It's no good. Passed out in the rain. Is this an eternal fire, or is this just a... Oh, it must be. There's a guard down in here. Maybe not. Oh, no. It lines the walkway. I like the city at night. Traveler. Eternal fire walk with you. I like your dress. What am I doing? Oh, this is the bathhouse. Right here. Right. Up, up. I feel like I feel like I'm getting in way over my head. Without raising any suspicions! Figured through just hard as he knocked on the bathhouse doors and knew that shortly before I disappeared that trace. I had been planning to rob Sigi Reuven. He would have had to inquire out my Hey! But he's a lousy actor! <laughs> Thanks to love Priscilla. Siri and I struck a deal with Warson Jr., one of the big four bosses. Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Christian Reuven. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so nervous! <sighs> like I'm, I'm really, I'm really worried. Cause I have a history of really bad decisions. You know what I mean? Like I have a history of really bad decisions with the dialogue. Oh man! Oh, this is really a oh, call. It was like a crypt more than a bathhouse. There are plants everywhere inside, though. I gotta knock! I gotta knock! Fear is gripping my heart! Open up. What? Why are you freaking out, Geralt? Maybe night's a bad time to come to the bathhouse? Maybe nighttime's a bad time. We don't have to freak out about it. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Uh, I, I should probably come during the daytime? Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of being subtle. <laughs> very well, I shall try. Please wait. Wow. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. I'm terrified of you. You look like one of those things from Alice in Wonderland. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through. Oh the no! We gotta do this the manly Let's way. Go. Oh no! My armor, my clothes, my my swords. You may 
disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. <laughs> I can use any one. Does it matter which one I use? I will use this one. Does it matter which one I use? Oh dang, what is this? I am naked as the day I was born. Almost. Did you. Who lit that? It wasn't lit before. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Okay, kitties, close your eyes. Hi, Whitehead. Nice fun you have. <laughs> you right. Nice what? He doesn't blush. What? Bodyguard. What? Virginia cut this out in order them to shove it up the corpse's ass. Ah! Then he sent the body back, offering a hand extended in peace. That's horrifying. I'm examining. Me Say. Myself. No, no, I'm trying to examine. Examine what? A bodyguard. What? Uh, sorry, oh, I'm, I am legitimately sorry. I do not wish to bother anybody. Where is this? Oh, he's over there. Okay. You cocky look, got a Won't find any better. Oh, like a horse. From the to the Dragon Mountains. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Rubens. Gudrun calls it Herberos. <laughs> uh, Does it loop back on itself? That's exactly what that's exactly what Orbuzz is. Like, forget it's the snake I that eats its dumb tail. I was made for loving. Hi, hi. Am I following you or what? Okay. Oh, do I gotta do I gotta talk to you? I'm, I'm, yes. Um, hang on. Can I spy? All day. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when. They all, all agree to just hang out naked? They are the manliest of men. Reuven, your guest. Yo, Beggar King. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk. Because to I'm you. cute. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. Yeah, hi. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah. Huh? It's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Do I know you? intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Assassins are drunks. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. <laughs> We're gonna go in there with just our towels! <laughs> <laughs> wow! What the heck? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, was there any way? I have to. Qu I'm questioning Reuven right now. Uh. Like I'm going to eventually. These are the same thing, basically, but. Get Junior, what? That didn't make any sense. Like, get Junior, like, I can't just go pick him up. Wow, whoa. Uh, why is there pink? There's pink somewhere. I don't know. Ow, distracted. What am I using? Am I using, like, a mace? I am using a mace. I like it. Oh, nope, nope. You're a normal person. It's difficult. This wow, this are the. The ladies fighting? I would, I would, I would not be surprised if the ladies had something hidden up their sleeves. <laughs> Just a bunch of men <laughs> killing people in the bathhouse. We were gents. In our towels. Terribly sorry for that incident. 
My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They will Look at this manly man! <laughs> That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who now I need a bath right for sure. Before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. You seem a pretty reasonable sort. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis <laughs> Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? <laughs> and the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Mm. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed. All three of you? One of you? Like first. one versus three? So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to whore son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your <laughs> name is, want to find whore son? Find me first. Geriatric's a good name. <laughs> Soul. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. So we're palsies. That's good. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. What, how about we get dressed? We just friggin' we just got here. Right we just got naked. That was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any clear for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a oh, day. Oh wow! Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I'm glad you don't resent me. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. I know, I'm sure. Listen, Reuven. No. Okay, I thought so with the ankle thing. Passwords and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. I know, just dear If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. He's the spy king, basically. He was a spy. The lead spy for the king. Will find Orson. He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. I'll try. Mmm... Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> the Redanian intelligence? Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect, but we just don't talk about it. No How did you fall from grace? Is is because the Redinian king is still alive, right? I mean, it's the one guy left, right? Yeah, it is. Pretty clear, you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. 
War doesn't solve any problems. Oh no, problems. his king's dead then, if it's it King Vizimir. It breeds Vizimir. trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Ah. So maybe Horson isn't the one we're after? Mm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Ooh. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. But I could find something. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Yeah, I might go Sewer's to the arena. Gildorf. But you'll have to enter the sewers! The endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Oh, good. I can be bait. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Oh, good. I'm good at that. Okay. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback. I'm curious I'm if no talking doubt. to Cleaver or not will make help, trouble Dijkstra. or not. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. <laughs> 